Hi there, it's Johnny Miller from Point Blank Online Music School, back once more to show you some tricks with Ableton Live 8 and sounds and samples from clickproduce.com. Um, today I'm going to show you a really cool little trick uh, using a function called unlinked envelopes and uh, I'm going to use it to create a nice smooth filter sweep um, over a little keyboard element. In this little sketch I'm working on here, um, I'm using the sounds, uh, all these are from uh, Loopmasters Delata Afro Parade Brazil Volume 1s. Now Delata are a really cool band, they make kind of like Latin flavoured dance music. Um, UK guys, really really cool. Um, so in here we've got um, a series of different folders, we've got Rex files, um, sampler patches as well for some of the different sampler instruments for the different uh, music production software packages you can get. Um, and also just regular samples, sounds, lots of different types of sounds, drum hits, etc. And a full library of loops, percussion, live drums, uh, keyboards, guitars, drums, and bass. Everything's really well recorded and it just has that really nice kind of summary feel to it. So what I've done here, I've put some of these uh, audio samples into some clips and I'll just take you through what I've got. So drums first, I've got a clip of beats. It's a nice little percussive loop. And I've layered that with this other clip here, just with a bass drum, a kick drum. So now I've got a nice kind of summary house feel, 124 BPM. And that's just going to give me a nice kind of deep texture, percussive texture to work from. Now adding to this, if I just deactivate those clips for a second, I've got this element here, stabs. And this is quite a short, repetitive little clip. quite simple. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use unlinked envelopes to create a long kind of smooth filter sweep over this element, but in session view. Now this is something I could do in a couple of other ways if I was to lay everything down in a range view. But we tend to do that when we've got a few more elements and I just want to hear what this idea in my head would sound like. So I'm going to use the clip envelopes instead of automation over time. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to load up an auto filter one of my favorite devices and just play with this filter frequency and get a nice smooth kind of sweep down and sweep up. Now what I want to do is, is write some information into the clip to do that for me, to do that sweeping for me over a long period of time. But the problem is, is that the clip is really short and this is where clip envelopes, unlinked envelopes come in. Now clip envelopes, as we've seen in a previous video, allows us to write in and draw in events over time inside an audio clip or MIDI clip inside session view. So if I click on the little E icon, the envelopes will open. And what I need to do here in these two menus, these are the choosers, I need to choose the device I want to add the clip envelopes work to, which is auto filter. And I want to choose the parameter within auto filter that I'm going to affect. So that's the, the filter frequency. Now what I can do, in a regular clip envelope scenario, I just have this space to work with, which is half a bar, that's too short. I'm gonna unlink the loop region here. And now I can use the loop length command here, the loop length control, to just bring that up to maybe, I don't know, eight bars, let's try this. And now I've got an eight bar region to draw clip envelopes information into, as opposed to a really short half a bar region. Again, half a bar is how long the loop actually plays for. It's only real short. So I'm drawing these envelopes in over a much longer period of time. So let's just do something quite basic here. Let's put in uh, just a nice filter sweep from the end of bar one down to the end of bar eight. And if I play that now, ever so gradually, that's just gonna filter down. If I come out of clip envelopes, we're still just working around that same short loop. Let's give this some treatment. Just going to run this through EQ3 just to take out some of the bottom end. And then I'm just going to put a delay on this. And that's starting to sound really nice now. Let's put the beat back in.
So now I can get a feel for how that filter sweep is going to sound over time. Maybe towards the end of the filter sweep I can think about bringing in another element. I've got room for something else. Anyway, you can learn loads more tricks like this uh, at pointblankonline.net and uh, I'll be back next week to show you some more cool little tricks with Ableton Live and sounds and samples from clipproduce.com. Peace.